Well, imagine seeing this in your neighbor's yard. This is cell phone video of a tiger loose in the memorial area yesterday. Our reporter Courtney Fisher live there with the latest on maybe whose tiger it was, Courtney? Yeah, Tom, I don't know that I can find the words for this story, but we're going to try. This tiger was spotted walking right down the street in people's front yards here in this West Houston neighborhood. If we didn't have the proof, you probably wouldn't believe it. So take a look one more time. A tiger in my neighborhood. There's a freaking tiger. It has a collar. It is somebody's pet. Yeah, listen to those neighbors. You can hear the shock in that woman's voice. So the question is, of course, is this someone's pet? Well, we just don't know right now. The big cat seen skulking across front yards early yesterday evening. It's almost like it's stalking some prey. A neighbor captured several videos and shared them with us. Just so unreal. It's not 100% clear if or excuse me, which house the tiger came out of. But then you look at this second video. Two men on the front lawn of this house. The guy in the white T-shirt actually goes right up to the tiger, grabs what appears to be its collar, and then kind of walks the tiger back into that brown house. The man in the gray T-shirt at one point looks like he points a gun at the tiger, obviously pretty worried about what was going on. Then at the end of the video, you see him clearly put his hands up as if to say, what is this really happening? He's possibly another neighbor. We still haven't talked to anybody in these videos, but as you mentioned, one of those questions, there are still so many. Who owns the tiger? How long has it been in this neighborhood? And you know what? Where is the tiger now? We called HPD to ask some of those questions. They said they got reports, calls into 911. They sent an officer out here, but the officer couldn't get eyes on that tiger. So we're going to be following up on this story today. I just, yeah, again, there are no words really to describe what's going on, but you saw the video yourself. We'll Court send it back to you. Courtney, did you say the officer couldn't get <laughs> eyes on the tiger? Uh -huh. Sorry. Oh, I said it. Okay. I said it. Got yeah, it. I did. Got it. I did say that. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, and this is not the first time we've seen tigers in our area, believe it or not. In 2016, a tiger was seen wandering in a Conroe neighborhood. I mean, it's just hard to believe this. And then in 2019, a tiger was found in a vacant Houston home. So is it legal to have a tiger at a home in Houston? Let's go live to the newsroom with Brittany Wilmore. And she's talking about the laws surrounding these kind of animals. This is just so hard to believe. I mean, are we in like a movie? <laughs> I know, Samika, I don't suppose you have a tiger or anything at home. I don't, and I know we call New York City the concrete jungle, but it feels like Houston's a little bit more of a jungle right now. But the first thing to know is that the animal has to be considered a dangerous wild animal, and a tiger is on that list. Lions, cougars, jaguars, hyenas, coyotes, and gorillas are some of the other animals that fall under the dangerous wild animal category. Now, while it's legal to own those types of animals in Texas, they must be registered with the county or your local animal control agency. And if you are going to register your dangerous wild animal, you'll need paperwork like a color photograph of each animal being registered, a photo of its enclosure, and a statement from a licensed veterinarian saying it's been inspected, the animal's been checked out. But in Houston, it's illegal to own a dangerous wild animal and city limits. Now, we mentioned an instance back in 2019 in May of that year, a tiger named Raja was found caged in a vacant house in Southwest Houston after its former owner said she had arranged for the animal to stay at a friend's home until it could be transferred to an animal sanctuary. This is what she told us at the time. He was in the process of picking him up. He was supposed to pick him up the day before, but the, the weather was real bad um, and we had him in the transportation cage, but it started raining, we put him in the garage and then everybody else found him. While well, RTJ Parker was interviewing the woman you just heard from when police arrested her on animal cruelty charges. But she said she was willing to face those consequences because Raja always had food and water. That tiger did end up at the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Ranch here in Texas. And we also reported back in 2019 that violations in something like this are misdemeanors that carry fines of $500 to $2,000. Now we do have a timeline of events dating back to 1998, where in one case, two tigers escaped from a home you can find that timeline within this story here on abc13.com and inside our app. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Wilmore. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Britt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> is this the hangover? That's yeah, that movie. Wow. Wondering okay. if the tiger is like in the bathroom, in the house. I don't want to know.